Hello, welcome to another episode um, of the Whips Family of Five. Today we are going to be doing some work on our trailer, RV travel trailer here in preparation for a cross country trip that is coming up. So today we are going to be greasing the wheels, the wheel bearings, and we're also going to be adjusting the electronic trail, electric uh, trailer brakes that are that are on the trailer. So uh, we're going to get the truck hitched up here in order to raise, raise the trailer up a little bit. I'll show you how we're going to do that in a minute. Okay, now we've got the truck hitched up. We're going to use the truck to back up the trailer and we're going to have one wheel only come up onto some ramps. And what we're doing here is we're trying to get the uh, front wheel off the ground. All right, uh, we're gonna lift this back wheel up using a bottle jack, and then I've also got a uh, jack stand here that we're gonna use to relieve the, the bottle jack once we're up. Now, it's important to be jacking and supporting the camper on the I-beams, which you can see the I-beam is right here. Um, the manufacturers of the trailers do not recommend uh, jacking the trailer on any of the suspension components, but uh, using the I-beam instead. So we've got this set here, and I've got a, a, a pretty high lift bottle jack here, and I'm gonna start cranking this up. Could you slide that board to me? There. We're gonna save a little bit of time here if I can get another board in there. Provided it is still stable. Okay, that feels pretty good. Line it up so I'm missing this sewer. And now we drink. So we've got it cranked up so the wheel is, oh, I don't know, probably about two inches off the ground. And I've got the jack stand now positioned right under the I-beam. And now we're going to slowly let some of the pressure off the bottle jack to lower it onto the jack stand. Okay, there it's going down slowly. We're just do it very slowly to make sure that everything is going to hold all right here. Okay, we've relieved most of the pressure off the jack. I'm going to leave that in place and now we're ready to do the brakes. All right, for safety we are chalking wheels on the opposite side now to make sure they don't roll. Alright, now we're all set. Alright, here we are under the under the camper after it's been secured. Um, there's a little plug here that you need to pull to get access to the brake adjustment. And I've got two on my wheel here and I've marked the ones that uh, the adjustment uh, thing is in so I've uh, just hit that with a marker so this is the one we're gonna pull off I've got a needle nose here let's see if this will this will work I'm gonna just pinch 
and try to pry. I might need to get a screwdriver up. There she comes. So we're just gonna work that gently and off she goes. All right, here we are and we've got a light shining in there and hopefully you can see in there, there is a, a wheel with notches on it. And I'll try to go in here with this. It's right there. Unfortunately, I just made a shadow, didn't I? Right there. Do you guys see that right there? That is a wheel. And you use a long, flat blade screwdriver, or there are brake adjustment tools if you're so inclined to get one of those, but a flat blade screwdriver works just fine. So what you want to do is you want to crank that wheel up until the wheel no longer spins. All right, okay. so right now if I give the wheel a turn, it's spinning freely. And what we're going to do is we're going to crank on that screw upwards. So we're kind of angling in down. We're going to find one of those notches and we're going to rotate that up. And we keep rotating it up. Until the wheel gets really hard to spin. I'm having trouble finding that screw right now. It's getting tighter, a little bit more. All right, she's definitely dragging hard now. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back it off a few clicks. There's two. We're gonna go one more. What you want is it to be spinning with a little bit of drag but not too much. If you have too much drag then your 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 brakes are gonna be fighting you the whole time and you're gonna heat that thing up. Alright. That looks good right there. Okay. And uh, once you're done, if if your uh, tire or brake has more than one plug hole here, definitely mark which one is which so next time you do this you don't have to uh, guess and uh, all you got to do is stick this in there and push it hard and you're good. Um, you should adjust your trailer brakes at least once a year, um, possibly more if you're doing a lot of driving. Alright, when greasing your wheel bearings it's very important to use the correct grease. You need to get a high temperature uh, grease and uh, I've got a number two Mystic high temp multi-purpose grease here. Uh, you can also use a, like a marine grade, uh, something that's rated for the high temperatures that wheel bearings will experience going down the road. So I'm going to get this loaded up into my gun and then we will do the wheels. All right, so the first step now is we're going to gently pry off this this cap and underneath here is where our grease zerk fitting is. So there we go, we got that off. And now our grease zerk is right right in there. Um, you're going to want to be very very careful this metal edge here is extremely sharp so if you're wiping off old grease uh, be careful not to get your fingers cut on that. All right so I've got my grease gun here and I'm gonna push that onto the fitting and what we're gonna do is we're slowly gonna 
pump some grease in here, and as we're pumping, prime my gun, there, there she goes, now it's flowing. We're gonna start spinning our wheel here. And we're just gonna slowly spin as we crank, and as we do this, you're gonna start to notice some of the old grease working its way out. And we're gonna grab a towel. I'm gonna try to get in there and get some of that out. done we'll be cleaning up that more it's very important to be spinning as you're pumping pumping the new grease in all right uh, we've noticed that the the grease now is uh, changing colors as it's coming through. This is uh, starting to have the new new grease in. Now we've we've gone ahead and worked all the old grease out until the new grease started coming through. You can see well, maybe you can't see, but um, the the color is now this this pink. It doesn't have as much. Uh, dirt and grime in it as it did when we we started so um, as we turned here we were just using paper towels and and cleaning off the the old grease as it as it came out I used oh maybe a little less than a half a tube of grease on on this wheel here so uh, You'll want to get this cleaned up then as best you can. Again, remember that the the metal in here is extremely sharp, and it will uh, cut your fingers if you're not careful. Um, I like to wear gloves working on this because it's extremely messy. And uh, if you notice right down here, we've got a shopping bag. And we're just dropping the dropping the rags in there. If you have access to shop rags or something, uh, that would be a, a good use too. All right, so we're gonna pull this off. We're gonna finish cleaning that up, and then we are going to put uh, the the cap back on. And that is how you grease your wheel bearings. All right, so now I'm uh, just working this cover back in, and. There she goes, make sure that's sealed. That'll prevent a bunch of dirt and grime from getting in there. Finish cleaning that off there. Try to get as much of that out as possible and there we go. That wheel is set to ride. All right, well we have adjusted the trailer brakes and greased the wheel bearings. Um, there's one final thing that we need to do that we're not gonna show, and that is to check the tire pressure on each of your wheels. Um, those three things being done will help ensure that you have a good trip. Also, do not forget to check the spare tire pressure. Um, thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe.